Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's the Flies Vlogger on the planet. My name is Showtime Bazaar. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a great, positive, productive day as always. You know, I got hip hop news, cultural updates, and everything like that for you guys today. But before we do any and all that, you know what you got to do. See that subscribe button on your screen right there. I need you to click that, turn that bell icon on so each and every time one of my videos drop the content that I'm providing to you, you don't miss it. Let's get into it, y'all. Drop my intro. <laughs> Peace, YouTube. What's going on? Um, before we get into the the video, I just want to say uh, rest in peace to take off one of the three members of the Migos. Um, if you don't know, he was shot and killed earlier during a dice game altercation. Sources close to the situation said that he died um, at the scene of the crime. Um, I just want to say this real quick, man. It's it's very hard to be. A fan of hip-hop right now we got to do so much better y'all and i'm tired of saying that i'm tired of us not doing it it's just like bro we got to stop that man like these are people are fans of these people man like people admire these people people you know like listening to their music like seeing them grow like seeing them become men and it's just really sad that you know we keep killing these black men over nothing bro senseless violence man like this is stupid you know what I'm saying? Um, he was a he was a fan favorite for sure. He was definitely one of my favorite Migos. I like the whole group, but I mean I just really admire his, you know, skills as a rapper. And um, it's just it's just, it's very tough, man. It's very tough to be a fan right now. There's too many people that we've lost uh, in the culture. I've never seen this many people you know die in all my years of hip-hop listening to hip-hop so i just want to send uh healing energy to um quavo offset you know everybody that helped make, make the migos great qc um you know sending healing energy to the family of the migos and um just want to say rest in peace let me know all your thoughts um comments and all that in my comments below rest in peace all right, guys, on to the next subject here. So over the weekend, the Michigan versus Michigan State football game took place. If you don't know, that's a big rivalry game, okay? It's like uh, Michigan versus Ohio State. It's like Auburn versus Alabama, et cetera, et cetera. You get the picture. Um, now, after the game, a brawl broke out between a few of the players. Um, and um, here's what I want to say about that. If you never play sports, there's a lot of emotion that goes into sports, believe it or not. Okay? So, especially when it comes to games like this, rivalry games tend to bring out the best and the worst of players, mainly because you want to beat that team because it's your, your crosstown rival or however, however it works. When you're playing a rivalry game, you always want to beat that team just because you want those bragging rights for the year. That being said, you can't lose your, your temper or... or go off the rails mainly because it looks bad on you as a person right your 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 job is to get to the next level especially in college you don't want nothing tainting your image um because people already like to say that you know they're thugs they love using that thug word you know, which I don't want to make too much about this because, again, stuff happens, okay? Temper, temperatures, tempers fly everywhere, you know what I'm saying? People are excited and, and mad and people doing stuff, fans get into it, they saying stuff, they saying you suck and blah, 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 blah. So, emotions are running high, but you can't lose your temper. And I feel like that's what happened in this game. Um, they wanted to play better, Michigan State, and they just fell short. You get them next year, okay? Some of y'all won't be able to. Some of y'all will. But the point is, bro, you can't do this type of stuff. That's that's not cool. You can't do that type of stuff. Um, again, fight, uh, stuff happens. But I think what makes this look bad is because at the end of the day, you still represent, you know, the state of Michigan. You still represent your school. You still represent yourself as a man. You don't want to lose your scholarship. You don't want to lose your ability or your potential to go to the next level based off of a little college fight and they look at that type of stuff they have a microscope on those own players 
especially the black ones, when it comes to this type of stuff? Can he hold his composure um, in these type of settings? Don't 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 throw your future away, bro. Over over one game, and I, and I hate that. Do not throw your future away over one game. You know, don't make a permanent decision off of a temporary feeling. You'll get them again next year, or if y'all both get to the Big Ten game, which ain't gonna happen, but get them again next time. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep that that same mentality. You can't you know let the trash talking go, man. You get them the next game. Don't. I hate that for black people. Do not throw your future away for little stuff. Can't do that. Let me know how you guys feel about the Michigan State-Michigan game. Um, what are your thoughts and opinions? How do you feel about it? Let me know what you think should happen. I know what's going to happen, but and I hate that. But somebody's going to get kicked off the team. And you work this hard, and you're going to end up, you know, not on the team. And I hate that for you because, you know what I'm saying, this is a, it's a long journey. And I hate for your journey to be cut short off of this little stupid incident, off of you not thinking. So let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments below. All right, guys, on to the next subject here. So Kyrie Irving under fire right now for a video that he posted to his Instagram page that had some anti-Semitic comments. Um, the video was somehow linked to Alex Jones. I think Alex Jones posted it first. So um, here's what Kyrie Irving had to say about the video. Take a listen. Uh, my post was a post from Alex Jones that he did in the early 90s or late 90s about secret societies in America of occults. And it's true. So... I wasn't identifying with anything of being a campaign, a campaignist for Alex Jones or anything. I was just there to post. And it's funny, and it's actually hilarious because out of all the things I posted that day, that was the one post that everyone chose to, chose to see. It just goes back to the way our world is and works. I'm not here to complain about it. I just exist. And to follow up on the promotion of the movie and the book. Can you please stop calling it a promotion? What am I promoting? Put it out on your platform. But I'm promoting it. Do you see me doing? Do you see? All right. So here's what I want to say about that. Um, I feel like uh, people are calling for Kyrie's job. They're saying Kyrie should be fired. He should be waived, suspended, all that good stuff. Um, Nets head coach Steve Nash spoke about it. I just think Kyrie was not aware, for real, of of the situation. I don't think he was, like, didn't really put two and two together because if you saw what happened with Kanye West and what those type of comments did to him and how they, you know, a lot of businesses were um, cutting ties with him, why would you post something along those similar lines? You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not against Kyrie or Ye putting the truth out there, whatever that may be. Um, I'm not against them wanting black people to know their heritage of being Hebrew and Jewish and knowing the culture. I'm okay with that. I just don't want y'all saying F the other side and creating hatred amongst everyone because that's not the goal. We just want to be treated fairly and get equal treatment. It ain't to say I hate these people because that's not going to bring nothing. You know what I'm saying? If your job is to um, bring love and peace to everyone, do that without saying that to the other side. And Kyrie, I just really think you got to be more you know, aware, bro, because you in the public eye. Now, sometimes I feel like Kyrie moves as if he's not Kyrie Irving. Um, I, I see him moving as a person that feels like he's just a regular individual with an Instagram page or a Twitter page. And it doesn't, he, he has, like, sometimes he doesn't care. Um, and not just specifically, I just feel like he just doesn't care sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, he just does things to where it just seems like he doesn't care. You know? So, um, that's all I want to say about that. Again, I don't think Kyrie's a hateful person. I don't think, you know, Kanye is a hateful person. I just think that specifically with Kyrie, got to understand the situation bro you can't just move like it's all willy nilly bro you have to address the situation also where are the people at in Kyrie's camp that help him kind of you know hey I don't think that's a good idea right now post that bro you might want to take that down or hey eh, it's not a good time to post that type of comments you know so let me know what you guys think about the whole situation in the comments below how do you feel about what Kyrie posted do you think Kyrie should be 
a release from the Nets? Do you think he should still have a job in the NBA? What are your thoughts and opinions? Let me know that in the comments below. All right, guys, and the last thing I want to discuss with you guys today before I get up out of here. So Steven Jackson and Kanye West, or Ye, got into it on social media, kind of. Uh, Kanye West made some uh, comments directed towards the George Floyd family, specifically a woman named Roxy. And Steven Jackson responded. Here's what Steven Jackson said. Take a listen. You say stupid you get stupid prizes. Nobody asked you to say nothing about George Floyd, but you decided to say it on your own. So you're going to pay the consequences. Roxy was minding her business. Gianna was minding her business. Oh, and also, Roxanne and Gianna and the family is two different people. She don't stand with the family, and the family don't stand with her. They had different lawyers during the whole, the whole court process. They had different lawyers. And for y'all that don't know, Kanye delusional. You didn't give Gianna $2 million. She got 250000 that they broke down through families that Roxanne is giving back to you. Here's all I want to say about that. Steven Jackson said something important, not in this clip right here, but he said something important in another clip. He said he's not really mad at, and I'm paraphrasing, but he said something to the effect of it's not the message, it's the messenger. Yeah, you're not the messenger. You're not the person to deliver the message. And I think that's important because based off of what he's been saying the last few weeks, Stephen Jackson's right. You brought up the, the George Floyd situation. You decided to, to bring that trauma back up for that family. These are things that you made, Kanye. These are statements that you made. Nobody asked you to do that. Nobody asked you to speak about that. You wanted to go on your rants and say what you wanted to say? Cool. Why bring up that family? Why bring up that trauma? You're not the person to, to deliver the message. You, you ain't been speaking vocally about this the whole time the situation was going on. Did he donate money to the family? Yes. God bless you. That was a great thing for you. But why speak up now? And if you wanted to have a voice... How about you speak through the man that's been speaking for the family, which is Steven Jackson. He should be the messenger. He was the closest celebrity to that family. That's his situation. You can't have that spotlight. It's not for you. It's just not. And that's okay. You could have worked together with Steven Jackson and came up with a foundation or been as vocal as you want to be about it, but you chose not to. You chose to run to Candace Owens and have her speak about it. So I 100% agree with Steven Jackson, man. Just leave that one alone, okay? I mean, there's a lot of stuff you should leave alone, but personally, I feel the George Floyd situation, not something that you should be speaking about, especially when you are making inaccurate comments, bro. And if you want it, accurate comments or want to make accurate comments Steven Jackson was the person that you should have reached out to I just think you went about it all wrong let me know what you feel about the whole situation in the comments below how do you feel about what Kanye said how do you feel about what Steven Jackson said let me know your thoughts and opinions below but that's all I got for you guys today if you guys enjoyed this video you know what to do like comment share subscribe and until next time I'm out of here y'all peace